you were not surrounding me with your energy, I don't wanna be there. Don't wanna be anywhere, any place that I can feel you. I just wanna be near you. And yes, I'm a mess, but I'm blessed to be stuck with you. Oh. Sometimes it gets unhealthy. We can't be by ourselves. We will always need each other. Yes, I'm a mess, but I'm blessed to be stuck with you. I just want you to know that if I could, I swear I'd go back. Make everything all better. Ooh. You pray, pray on my insecurities. I know you're feeling me. I know sometimes I do wrong. I hear the words of this song. When I go, I don't stay gone for long. I know what's going on. And yes, I'm a mess, but I'm blessed to be stuck with you Sometimes it gets unhealthy We can't be by ourselves We're here to join tonight with Michael and Amanda on their special night. And I ask, who gives this woman away to be married to this man? We do. You all may be seated. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. God ordained marriage and creation, and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned weddings and marriage by his presence and first miracle at the wedding of Cana in Galilee. The Apostle Paul also chose marriage to symbolize the mystical union between Christ and his church. And marriage has been held in high esteem and commended by all people. 
The union of a man and woman in heart, soul, mind, body, and spirit is the highest of all unions. And they come together in the presence of God for their mutual joy and enrichment. And if it be God's will for the procreation of children. Therefore, beloved, marriage is not something to be entered into ill-advisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. And at this time, Michael and Amanda have chosen uh, to share their own personal vows. Okay. Hi. Hey, baby. What's happening? <laughs> okay. Michael, it seems like I've known you forever. <laughs> but this experience of being in a relationship with you has been my favorite part. Over the years, I've grown deeper in love with you. I've watched you grow in so many ways, and you've been willing to be vulnerable with me. You continue to leave me in awe in the ways that you continue to show up for not only me, but for the people I care about. You pray with and for me. You challenge me to be more accountable and encourage me to be courageous. You are thoughtful and intentional, and you carry that in everything that you do. I trust in your ability to lead, and you've given me an experience that I've never had before. The opportunity to know and feel what love truly is. You are the embodiment of love. You are patient, you are kind, <laughs> you, <laughs> you are selfless and considerate, and you always make sure that I eat. <laughs> you take care of my belly and my heart. So I promise you that in our marriage, I will take care of your heart. I promise to be your comfort. I will continue to be a safe space where you can be your most vulnerable. I promise to respect you and talk through challenges even if it feels difficult. I will be by your side whenever you fall ill. I will be your forever hype man. <laughs> and remind you that you are the most amazing man that I know. I promise to continue to pray for us in our union. I promise to remain open to feedback. That may, be <laughs> that, that may better me. And remember that you have my best intention, you have the best intentions for me. And I promise to remind you that you're my favorite person and that I love you times infinity. Wow. I'm so happy to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you, Michael, and I thank you for choosing me back. Y'all bear with me. Oh, man. Hello, hello, hello. Bear with me, please. All right. Amanda, my sugar mama. <laughs> you are the lady in my life. You are caring, considerate, patient. You are so happy and bubbly. You're the warm sunshine to my cool darkness. You bake the best tasting cupcakes on earth. You are my healer, and you are my peace. I promise to love you and care for you and try in every way to be worthy of your love. 
I will always be honest with you. I'll be kind. I'll be patient. And I'll be forgiving. I promise to try and be on time. <laughs> and not Nigerian time. As long as you're not on Jamaican time. I promise to share the bed if I fall asleep first. I promise to drive the Nissan Altima if you're tired. And I really, really have to. Um, I promise to check your edges before you leave the house. I promise to be someone you can trust. I promise to be your lover. I promise to be your provider, your protector. I promise to be the calm in the midst of any storm you face, in this, any storm we face. And above all, I promise to put God first and let him guide my every step. I want to grow old with you through the hard times and the good times, through sickness and health. I'll always be at your side. Um, I promise to fall in love with you over and over again as we change. You are my favorite person. And I love you times infinity. Yeah, wow. <laughs> wow, how do you follow that? <laughs> okay. Well, wow. okay, Michael, I'm going to look at you first. Okay. Will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in holy matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, and be faithful to her as you both shall live? If so, say, I will. I will. <laughs> and Amanda, will you have this man to be your husband? To live together in holy covenant of marriage, will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, and be faithful to him as both as you both as long as you both shall live? If so, answer, I will. I will. <laughs> and to the congregation who are here witnessing this in the presence of God, will you pray for them? Will you love them? Will you honor them? Will you counsel them when needed? If this is your intention, say we will. We will. Amen. Amen. Excuse me. Y'all don't ask about the people who want to disagree? No. They don't, do <laughs> they don't, they don't get that piece. <laughs> okay. All right. Praise God. Um. There's a scripture in 1 Corinthians 13 called the love scripture. The apostle Paul wrote this and he said that if I speak with the tongue of men and of angels, but I have not love, I'm simply a noisy gong and a clanging cymbal. And I have, I have, I have all knowledge to understand all mysteries and all prophecies. But if I do not have love, and I, if I give away all that I have to the poor, and offer up my body to be burned, but I do not have love, it profits me nothing. What is love? Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is considerate. Love is not jealous. Love is not selfish. Love is not rude. Love does not seek its own. Love does not take into account a wrong suffered. Love bears all things. Love believes all things. Love hopes all things. And love endures all things. Amen? Amen? That's the love that God has called you to. Now, at this time, we have the exchange of rings, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. These rings that I'm holding up in my hand are a sign of an eternal covenant that Michael and Amanda are about to make. And so let's bow for prayer. Bless, O oh Lord, these rings, we pray. They are a symbol of the covenant that they are making before you and before the witnesses in heaven and the witnesses here today. We ask you to bless them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Okay.
think you can put your rings. Open them up. Put this one on your mocha. There we go. Okay. All right, Michael, you go first. Let's put it on. You can just set to put it on. I'm going to put it on you. I'm, gonna put, I'm, gonna put, I'm putting it on you. I'm put, okay, there you go. There we go. Okay, Amanda, you can put this on him too. Okay. And then if you both would hold hands together and repeat after me. I'm going to say this to you first and then she can go next. In token and pledge. Token and pledge. Uh, in token and in pledge. Token and in pledge. Of the vow between us made. Of the vow between us made. I be wed. I be wed. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Okay. Amanda? In token and in pledge. In token and in pledge. Of the vow between us made. Of the vow between us made. I thee wed. I thee wed. In the name of the the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 What God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Amen. 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 And at this time, uh, Michael and Amanda are going to have the um, partake in their first act of Holy Communion. If y'all would stand over here to the side. Let's take your time, Amanda. And I'm going to ask my wife, Pastor Kelly, if she could help us here. Tane Greer, we're starting on this amazing journey. And we've talked about it. You have already expressed your love for one another. And now this is the symbol of what you've both decided that Christ comes first in this union. And so let's partake in communion together. Slide it a little bit to you. Yes, please. And you both pour together. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Pour together. Yep, we pour together. Now, as they have partaken in Holy Communion and they're also partaking in the sand ceremony, these are both symbols of their new union as they've come together as husband and wife in the sight of God. Amen. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> 
Excellent. Outstanding. Come back here. Let's see what's going Okay. <laughs> Praise God. Now that Michael and Amanda have given themselves to each other by solemn vows before God and before all of you today, and they've shown their affection by the giving and the receiving of rings and of their personal vows, I now pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Okay, Michael, she's all yours.